Hey my loves, I'm Linda and I'm back on my channel with your request. Keeping the season in mind, I'm here with a makeup tutorial for this winter wedding season. For this look, I have tried to keep it very much glamorous and wearable for every party that you might attend. You can of course change and alter the shades of the eyeshadows or maybe lip color as per your preference. If you are new to my channel then welcome and I request you all to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and if you are old subscriber then thank you for being with me. Let's get started. I'm gonna begin by priming my face with sleek control shine and prime primer. Then I'm gonna use my new favorite L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 104 and then I'm gonna buff it with a wet beauty blender. To highlight the high points of my face, I'm using Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Fair. And then again in the same manner, I'm gonna buff that out using a wet beauty blender. Now to set the concealer in place, I'm using my Coty Airspun Loose Face Powder. To dust off the excess powder from the face. And then I'm using my MAC Face Powder to set the rest of my face. Now it's time to bring definition to the face and to contour I'm using my Morphe contour palette and using these two shades I'm going to contour my face. With the same shades and an eye blending brush I'm going to contour my nose slightly. Now let's begin with our eye makeup. And to begin I'm using my e.l.f. eyelid primer. Then I'm going to use my face powder again to set the primer so that it gives a smooth surface for me to blend my shadow. Today I'm using my sleek Garden of Eden palette and from that I'm going to use these two shades as my transition and crease shade. Using a fluffy blending brush I'm going to apply the transition shade first. Using a pencil brush and the dark brown shade I'm going to intensify my crease a little bit more. Now I'm using my NYX Jumbo Pencil. This is in a pearly white shade and this is going to make my eyeshadows look more vibrant. In the darkest green shade from the palette and the applicator that comes along with it, I am going to apply it on the outer C of my eyes. And then I am picking up this minty light green Primary eyeshadow which is very beautiful on the lids and I'm going to apply it all over my lid leaving a little space between the darker green shade and this green shade. And now using this green which is in between both the dark and the light shade I'm going to apply it in the middle so that it evens out both of them and blends them out perfectly. At this stage it's very important for all the shadows to look very finished and smooth and well blended. After applying the green shadows, I'm going to go back to my crease shade again and then using my blending brush, I'm going to buff that out again on my crease. I think it's time to intensify the green shadows a little bit more because during my blending it has worn off a little bit. So I'm taking my green shadows respectively and then I'm going to apply them again. Now I'm using my Sivana Colors White Pencil and I'm going to apply that in my waterline. Using the same pencil brush and sleek solstice palette, I'm going to use this highlighter to apply on my brow bone. Also applying this highlighter shade a little bit on my inner corners. Now I'm going to use my BH Liquid Eyeliner Felt Tip Pen and I'm going to line my eyes.
After that, I'm going to use my Bob 3D Curl Lash Mascara and I'm going to apply on both of my bottom and upper lashes. Now I'm going to use a recent release from Jans Cosmetics. This is Jans and Ski Corso Collaboration Eyelash and I'm going to apply that off camera. It's time to complete the rest of the face makeup and now I'm going to use my Too Faced Love Hangover Blush and apply that on my cheeks. Now I'm again using the same sleek highlighter and applying it on my cheekbones. I'm also applying it on my chin, nose and also on my forehead. I'm using my Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Havana Night. And to lock everything in place, it's very important to use a setting spray. I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And yes, now our look is done. After a very long time I have filmed the tutorial and I hope you all enjoyed it and if you have then do let me know in the comments bar and please 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 don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel. You can also stay connected with me in my all of the social media Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter. I'll give you the link of all of the social media in the description bar. This is Linda signing off for the day. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.